How to Pisces. Welcome to your what's ahead for you for 2021 love reading. You know me as the Cosmic Divine Tarot and Pisces. This is for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Lilith signs, okay? And uh, as you can see, I have everything spread out for you in regards to the tarot. But before we get into this, Tarot reading, Pisces. I wanted you to know that I had shuffled uh, the Soul Truth Self Awareness cards for you at least a hundred times to get you one question that you need to ask yourself before you go on head into 2021 or while you in 2021. Okay, and uh, this is the card that fell out for you, Pisces. This card says. What expectations do I have that are impossible to meet? This is the card that you pulled, okay? Now, what does that mean? Does that mean that in regards to this whole situation right here, that there was expectations that you were expecting from this person that was impossible for this person to meet because of the type of person that this is, Pisces? Or the type of person that this a uh, person will be for 2021 all right this could be somebody that you're dealing with right now that you're going to go into 2021 with that you really need to let go but let's go ahead and read the back of this for you pisces it says the expectations we have are mostly delusional and impossible to meet we then experience disappointment with ourselves or with a relationship when they are not met, okay? It's time to dissolve your expectations and replace them with gratitude. Pisces. Now, what the heck is that talking about, Pisces? Well, let me tell you. I also shuffle the dark mirror cards for you, all right? And I got two cards for you that fell out one is i won't cry for you instead what this person wants to do is stab you in the back okay stab you in the back this is atonement right here and i won't cry for you that's who you're dealing with all right mm. let's go ahead and get into this reading pisces I'm utilizing the light seers once again, as well as the tarot of sexual magic. All right, now let's go ahead and do this thing. Pisces, the first column you have the five of pentacles, the ace of cups, the temperance, the four of wands, as well as the knight of swords. All right, well, Pisces, this is what this is telling me. <clears throat> you expected to find love overflowing with some damn body okay this person told you that y'all are going to be all about the love that y'all are going to be all about the emotions that they're going to be all into you all in love with you pisces however this mother left your ass out in the damn cold with the five of pentacles they left you out in the cold made you feel miss overstood made you feel unwanted made you feel as if you were not someone who they had originally promised this daggone chalice to and you also found out pisces that you got disappointed with this person because the chalice that they brought to you didn't have sh in it okay however since you are a water energy your water, your emotions, and your love and everything was in your chalice. Their chalice, okay, because you're dealing with a uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, okay? You're also dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or a uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But you, you discovered that their chalice didn't have no damn love in it, no affection in it, didn't have a damn thing, Pisces. And this person with the temperance card felt peace in the fact that they didn't have any love and that they were just going to go ahead and swallow up everything that belonged to you, okay? <laughs> 
this person promised that they were or gave the illusion that they were your twin flame and that y'all were about to have a twin flame journey and celebrate with each other and be all into each other and be all in love and just having a good old damn time. However, when it came down to show and tell, this month could decide to go ahead and run from it run from the relationship run from you pisces and you like i said had the five of swords this is how you felt this is how you felt you were crying you were upset you were heartbroken pisces but let me go ahead and pull these cards out for you again baby before i go any further this motherfucker will not cry for you Okay, they won't cry for you. They want you to feel stabbed in the daggone back. And I'm going to tell you why. Let's go on here to the second column here. We got the, uh, what's this? Nine of chalices. We have the, the Hierophant. We have the Sun and we have the uh, Knave of Pentacles. Okay. Well, this person took great delight, great delight in making you feel as if you're the only one, okay? They was very happy and at peace making you feel like this, Pisces, making you feel that you were the only one that could satisfy them. With the nine of chalices, you were the only one, the only love they ever wanted. However, baby... Your Hierophant, your deity, your ancestors, or... uh. The universe informed you that there was more than one person here, okay? That they were juggling you and having somebody else as well. And I'm like, damn, man, is that all the reading's going to be about somebody juggling shit? And this person was happy when you found out, Pisces. They were happy when you found out what the sun here. They were happy to break your daggone heart, the knight of daggone, or the knave of, um... Uh, chalices, they went ahead and confessed it to you. They went ahead and confessed this to you. And if you see the look on his face, let me look at this face. This person's face looks like, hey, they want you to be in anguish when they confess this to you because they are happy when you're in anguish, Pisces. They are happy when you are upset. They are happy when you're in this type of energy. They are happy and they will not cry for you, Pisces. This person coming into your life. We're dealing with uh, all the signs here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, um, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Matter of fact, the sun here is a Leo. All right, let's go ahead into the third column here. We got the five of wands. We have the ace of swords, and we have the queen of pentacles. Pisces, <laughs> this person wasn't just happy to confess this to you, okay? They weren't just happy to confess this to you, but this bastard was happy to show you that they were having sex with somebody else, Pisces. They threw it up in your face while you standing there. This man right here, this is you. You're standing there looking at this person in the garden having sex with somebody else. And they want you to see them. Because look how out in the open these people are. They're not hiding no damn where. This person wanted to hurt you, Pisces. And that there is the truth. Because here is the goddamn Ada. Ace of uh, Swords here. Okay? The Ace of Swords here is to tell you that, yeah, they wanted to dominate and control your emotions. You see this person on his bed chaining down somebody else and, and having them unable to move. They wanted to chain you and make you feel this right here. Ten of swords, stabbed in the daggone back. That's what the hell they wanted. Because they felt that this is your atonement. While they making somebody else feel like uh, they want to suck all on their toes and kiss all on their feet. Okay? That's how they, that's, the, that's, that's what they're doing, Pisces. 
Or this could be saying that this person wanted to dominate and control you by first starting with your feet because this could be like a sensitive area on your body. So they want to suck all on your toes and lick all on your feet and on your legs and your calf muscles and up to your knees and further on up, baby. Okay, that's could be saying that too. It could be saying that too. And that, that could have been the way that they went ahead and made you open up to them and made you feel as if they were somebody who wanted to be in your life. All right. Now, here we got the uh, Knave of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. All right. So this person's intention, Pisces, is for you to, for, for them, first of all, take you out for drinks, right? Take you out for drinks and to get you drunk and then have you in the back of that goddamn bar all up against the wall and in the goddamn bushes, okay? This person wants to just bone the living out of you after they hurt you after they made you see that they were with somebody else and bone in the living ish out of them Pisces they also want you <laughs> to accept that they want to bone your ass too man who does this sound like this sound like uh uh Capricorn this sound like Capricorn you may be dealing with a Capricorn yeah force feeding you to accept the fact that they are out there boning somebody else or this could be somebody also who could be getting you drunk at home right but then taking this other woman out in the back they go outside and bone this in the garden girl man <laughs> whoa here is the world here pisces somebody at your feet again see this person loves your feet, Pisces. They feel that you got the most beautiful feet in the world. And they are like, you know, fixated on the feet, all right? You had somebody else fixed on your breast last time. Now you got somebody fixed on your feet. So, Pisces, I must say that you are absolutely gorgeous from top to goddamn bottom, all right? <laughs> because now you got somebody fixated on your feet. This person is the Knight of Cups. They are showing you, they want, they keep coming back to you, Pisces. They just keep coming back to you, bringing you flowers and apologizing for making you cry or acting like they give a goddamn that you were crying. But Pisces, they don't care that you were crying. This motherfucker is in the goddamn seven of swords. This person is evil as hell, hell, Pisces. You're dealing with a, 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 a Aquarius Libra Gemini, a goddamn... Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, okay, this mom is evil as all hell. And they're going to come into your life or they're already in your life and they want you to go into 2021 with their evil, conniving, sneaky ass. They want to steal your soul, steal your heart, steal your mind, steal your love, steal your tears even, god damn it. That's what the hell they want to do because this person wants to fill their chalices with your tears, your love. They want to fill their chalice with your love. And that there is the truth, Pisces, because this is the daggone two of cups and the ace of swords coming out again. The, the daggone, uh, you know, treachery of this person right here goes real deep. This, uh. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Oh, it goes real deep. It goes all the way deep into this motherfucker's mind. Okay, this person is evil. And they make you think that they want the two of cups with you. They make you think that you deserve love whenever they come back on the scene with their flowers and whatnot. And sucking all on your toes and whatnot. And plying you with alcohol and whatnot. And having you in the back of the damn bushes and whatnot. Pisces, this person is a damn devil. Now, the devil's not out here, but I don't need the devil to know this month. Is the devil. He's a devil. She is a devil. And they are a heavy burden to bear with the Ten of Wands. They are a very heavy burden to bear. This relationship is going to take everything you got, Pisces to be able to survive this 
This could also be saying that this is uh, Ten of Wands is you taking everything you got and leaving this goddamn person. This, this, this conniving, sneaky, evil. Man, they, they're not a devil, they're a demon. That's what they're on there. It's a demon. You and go ahead and heal with the star. Head to the star, baby. Go ahead. This is the star right here. You may be dealing with an Aquarius. I keep saying Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. That's who you may be dealing with. This is also Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But this card comes out as Aquarius. So that's who you may be dealing with. Hit, put your head up to the sky. Not down to the ground, but up to the sky, baby. Up to the sky. Pray to your deity. Pray to your ancestors. Pray to the universe to heal you from this person that's going to be coming into your life. Pray. That's what you have to do. Pray. Because this person was happy as all hell to come in and out of your life. Oh, look at this person. Oh, she's real happy playing the drum. That drum is you, baby. That, that instrument that she is playing has been your heart, your soul, your feelings in this relationship, okay? That is what the hell has been going on. So here we got the daggone hangman. The hangman is like surrendering to the divine. Hanging there, uh, putting yourself in the hands of your ancestors, your deity, uh, the universe to heal you from this whole matter. All right. That's what basically you're going to have to do, uh, Pisces. Because you expected the world from this person because this this person told you that they will give you the world. However, Pisces, you remember the card you pulled, right? What expectations do I have that are impossible to meet? This You expected too much of this daggone demon, all right? This, this uh, foul individual, the expectations that you're going to have of them is just completely left field. You're going to have to go ahead and, and find yes, somebody else. Now, leaving everything in the hands of the divine is uh, your sacred. Let's see what your sacred destiny is by doing that, Pisces, all right? Going to see what your sacred destiny is, or your destiny period, is when you do that. When you leave your, when you leave it up to uh, the divine, when you leave it up to your ancestors, when you leave it up to the universe, when you leave it up to Panathadu, who are the guardians, when you leave it up to them, okay, what will be the outcome for Pisces? Stepping away, taking everything that... Pisces has to leave this damn demon in the past. This person who just feeds off of the fact that you're crying. I mean, because this person over here in this picture was crying some daggone tears, man. Can't cry for them no daggone more. Can't feel out in the cold for them no daggone more, Pisces. Who? Who the hell? What the hell, baby? All right. <clears throat> Let's go. What is the uh, other messages that we have for Pisces? In regards to the journey for 2021. Wake up, y'all. What other messages do we have for Pisces in regards to the journey in 2021? Okay. Trust. Trust, Pisces. Trust in your higher being. Trust in your higher beings. Trust in the universe. Trust in your ancestors. Trust in your deity. All right? Two more cards came out, so because this is pretty heavy. This is pretty heavy, Pisces. So you're going to get three of these bad boys. It says, focus, focus, and release. Mm. Or focus on releasing this demon that you have who is relishing in the fact that they can hurt you. That they can influence your emotions. That they can come and have sex with you. That they are very happy to do this, Pisces. Alright? So trust in your divine. Trust in your divine and uh, release this person. Focus on the star. Focus on the star, baby. Focus on getting better. Okay? Focus on, you know, because this person got you in a dark place right here. This person, they have you in a dark place right here. Focus on the star. Focus on the star. Focus on the light. You know what I'm saying? Not the daggone darkness. Let me get you some love oracle cards. 
This is Love Oracle number one, by the way. I finally found the box. Couldn't find it earlier. All right. <clears throat> what other messages do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Lilith? Just wanting to hurt Pisces. I'm, man, it better not come my way. I'll slap somebody in the face. <laughs> I'll slap somebody in the face trying to hurt Pisces like this. Here we go. Look, it was a karmic relationship, Pisces. This was meant to teach you a lesson. It says, fleeting triggers turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. So you're going to take everything that you've got from this lesson which has been a burden on you and move on all right what else we got what other messages do we have for pisces sun moon rising venus lilith what other messages do we have for pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Lilith. Alright, two cards came out. Destructive Habits and Paradise. Mm. This karmic relationship was somebody you was with. This person was addicted to gambling, alcohol, sex negatively impacting their relationship. They were toxic. They had toxic thinking and behavior. Okay, that's what's going on. This was absolutely somebody toxic but now when looking up to the star pisces you get paradise when you trust in the divine trust in the universe trust in your ancestors you get paradise at the end of this journey all right for 2021 you get happiness expansion joy playfulness oneness enjoying each other okay enjoying your uh ancestors enjoying your 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 deity enjoying the time that you are spending by yourself or presumably by yourself because none of us are ever alone not for a single second all right this person is going to try to come back into your life probably because it said not today it said not today not uh what is that not dealing hurt avoiding a conversation call person boundary still angry so they're going to try and call you to come back into your life Pisces they're going to try to find you they're going to look you up they're going to come at you and try to ruin your paradise that you're having without this demon okay so this uh Draco Draco serpent Luciferian Nakashat Jen all right is going to try to come back in your life do not let them back in your life Pisces because this person uh you were damn near crying blood you couldn't cry any daggone more you were damn near crying blood and that's just enough this person wasn't gonna cry for you so don't you cry for this mug no goddamn why don't you do it no more Pisces let this thing go okay let it go let it go Pisces he does not love you. They they do not love you. They do not care about you at all. All right, Pisces. Now, if this resonates with you, then go ahead, hit that like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifier to know when we'll be uploading more of your messages. If it doesn't resonate with you, then don't worry, Pisces. You know I'm going to be giving you more messages all through 2021. So, come on head back to the channel for 2021 and let me go ahead and keep reading for you, okay? Until then, my darling, peace, love, and light. Hold up.